I gave him every bit of the money that I had to rent this home. And then an hour later, I found out that he didn't even own the home. Only on RTV6, this man, 42-year-old Matthew Mitchell, accused of posing as a landlord and scamming an Indianapolis family out of $1,500. Now, they have no place to live. RTV6's Matthew McClellan learned that this family is not his first victims. Hearing them crying that they're cold and they just want a house, it breaks my heart. Danielle Alford, her husband and eight kids, they've been sleeping in their van. Barely any money left after they say they were scammed last week. Our lease ended on December the 5th and on December the 2nd, I tried to rent a home that I thought belonged to the guy. This 10th Street house posted on Craigslist as a rental using a fake name. Jason Jones Jr. is what he was going by. Matthew Mitchell set up to meet Alfred at the house the next day. When we had gotten to the home, it was nice. It was suitable for our family. I signed all the paperwork. I got, I gave him the money. He, I, he gave me the key and I started moving myself in. Alford found this for sale sign not in the yard, but inside the house. She immediately called the realtor. She told me that that place was not for rent, that he did not own the home. The realtor came over and together they called police, but Mitchell was long gone. Alford and her family forced to leave the house penniless. <laughs> I want to help my kids. Investigators say the door handle was broken where someone removed the sentry lock on the door. He's done it to other people. Just the night before, police believe the same suspect cheated another family out of $1,200 cash. They arrested Mitchell later in the day. He's charged with theft and forgery with intent to defraud. Investigators are working to recover the stolen cash as this family struggles to find a place to stay. I'm locked in my van with my children freezing. Mitchell is set to appear in court for a pretrial hearing December 22nd. Reporting in Indianapolis, Matthew McClellan, RTV6. RTV6 is working for you tonight with ways to protect yourself from falling victim to something like this, this rental fraud issue. Work with a realtor specializing in rentals. Most will not charge you a fee. Never ever wire money sight unseen, deal only locally. Google the address to see if it's a listed property. And remember, if it sounds too good to be true on the rental fees or anything else, it's more than likely not worth your time or your money.